Hey there, so uh, I will talk about Fusoc in three minutes, hopefully less. So this is like a SOC, it's called Veerwolf. This is the reference platform for the Veer CPUs. Did I write this whole thing myself? No, I hate writing code. So uh, most of these things were actually copied from other people. Now you can, if you want to build a thing from components, you can copy all the things into your source tree, which is a very bad idea. You can also look at this like a dependency tree and maybe use uh, Git submodules. Don't do that. Because as soon as you have like a, something uh, depending on, on like different versions of, of the same IP, you will get into the deadly diamond of death problem, <laughs> which is a known problem. And how do you solve it? With a package manager. And there are tons of package managers for software. And we have Fusoc for silicon. So a project like this is only successful if it has packages. Uh, so for Fusoc, it has been around since 2011, and many uh, high-profile uh, open-source silicon projects are using it. Uh, I've listed some of the bigger libraries of IP cores. There are many smaller libraries. I also know many companies are using this internally with a proprietary IP. Uh, so there's a uh, longer list. Uh, so how do you convert your IP core to a Fusoc IP core? You add a core description file, which describes the core. And there are basically two parts of it. There's a lot of things, but like you have the dependencies and, and the files that go into it, and you also want to do something with your IP core. So you have the targets. Um, <laughs> uh, and the target describes what you are going to use your uh, design for. Uh, for example, simulation or FPGA synthesis or something like that. Um, this was the other direction. So yeah, so we have seen, we have core libraries, we have a package manager that uh, uh, handles the dependencies. Then we hand over the whole full design to Edelize, which is a sister project. And Edelize will convert your tool agnostic description into one of the supported EDA tools. Edelize currently supports around 40 EDA tools. Uh, so Fusoc helps you work independently on different parts of design, reuse cores in different designs. Uh, it also allows you to uh, use your cores and tools with different DDA tools, share cores with uh, other people who use different tools. Uh, so what we're looking at for the future? Well, we're looking at more adoption, more EDA tool support, more advanced flows, public package pool like PyPy or, or Cargo, whatever you have. Uh, also, I would like to, in the future to be, for it to become an industry standard, have world-class documentation. I know these are very, very high set goals. Uh, so I have modified them a bit uh, to make it easier. <laughs> Thank you.